see that the three planes shows that the three planes do not intersect. Do not intersect, it means that there is no a single point at which all three planes intersect. And it means that there is no a unique solution of these simultaneous equations. And uh, how to do that? We can just uh, try to solve these simultaneous uh, equations and we need to show that there is no a unique uh, uh, solution. So we need to uh, consider the augmented matrix of coefficients. So 2, negative 1, 1, 4, 1, negative 2, 3, 5, negative 9, 3, negative 2, and 32. And it's usual to solve uh, such uh, simultaneous equations. Uh, the first step we make 0 here. To do that we can consider rho 2 minus 0 0.5 multiplied by rho 1. But uh, I want to multiply each term over the uh, um, row 2 by 2 to get 2 negative 4 6 10 2 negative 4 1 4 negative 9 3 negative 2 32 and now I just consider row 2 minus row 1 it means each term of, uh, or not actually each, uh, corresponding coefficients uh, we subtract or add and we just uh, say row 2 min uh, minus row 1. So it means uh, 2 minus 2, 0, negative 4, uh, minus minus 1, it's, it's negative 3 and 6 minus 1, it's 5. And here we get 6. Uh, the first row remains the same. And here negative 9, 3, negative 2, 32. The next step to solve simultaneous equations to make 0 here. We can also uh, consider row 3 plus 4.5 uh, row 1. Uh, but I want to multiply uh, each term of uh, the row 1 by 9 to get 18 here and multiply by 2, uh, multiply each term of uh, row 3 by 2 to get negative 18 here and then I just add them up. So I get 18, negative 9, 9, 36. 0, negative 3, 5, 6, negative 18, 6, negative 4, 64. And now just row 3 plus row 1 to get 0, negative 3, 5, 6, 0, negative 3, 5, a hundred and the first row we can write again in simplified form 2 negative 1 1 4 2 negative 1 1 4 and uh, we can see that there are two parallel planes plane 2 is parallel to plane 3 uh, since these coefficients are different it means uh, but uh, these coefficients are equal it means two planes are parallel but don't coincide plane 2 plane 3 and plane 1 so our situation looks like this and to show it more precisely if we consider row 3 minus row 2, we finally get 0, negative 3, 5, 6, and 0, 0, 0, 94, and uh, 3 zeros 
implies that there uh, there is no a unique solution because it's uh, actually the same as uh, zero z is 94 zero x zero y and uh, there are no solutions the next question shows that the three planes uh, do not intersect Done. Verify that point P lies on both plane 1 and plane 2. To, to verify it, uh, we need just substitute coefficients uh, for x, y, z and uh, show that uh, corresponding equation is true. So for uh, plane 1, it becomes 2 times 1 minus negative 2 plus 0 is 4 which is true and for plane 2 1 minus 2 times negative 2 plus 0 is 5 which is also true hence uh, p lies on both p1 and p2 as required the next find the vector equation of l the line of intersection of p1 and p2 Two plane plane one and plane two. So our situation looks like this, and uh, plane one and plane two intersect in a line, and this line L is perpendicular to the plane of the page and is into or out of the page. And since uh, point P lies on both P1 and P2, it means it lies on line L and can be used, uh, used as uh, a point on, uh, on a required line L. And hence, uh, we need to uh, find direction vector of line L. How to find? Um, a direction vector of line L. Uh, the first way is since uh, line L uh, is perpendicular to the plane it which normal to plane uh, 2 and plane 1 are hence direction vector of L can be found as cross product of N1 and N2. Or another way is uh, just consider simultaneous equations and we can use uh, uh, the sim uh, simplified form. So it's actually the same as 2x minus y uh, plus z is 4, negative 3y plus 5z is 6. And since uh, there are three variables and two equations, it means there are infinitely many solutions and it's correct because line uh, contains infinitely many dots and it implies infinitely many solutions. Uh, That's why. Hence, uh, we should consider z or y or x as uh, some parameter let z be t and hence we need solve for y for x in terms of t so from the second we get that uh, negative 3y plus 5t is 6 hence y is negative 2 plus 5 over 3t and substitute y uh, and uh, that into the first and get that uh, 2x minus negative 2 plus 5 over 3t plus t is 4 and hence x is 1 plus 1 third t and hence we get required vector equation of line L 1, negative 2 and 0 are coordinates over point plus parameter and direction vector. Um, 
we need only direction and it uh, it's important only direction and uh, here it may be any multiple of a vector so we usually use uh, integers so we can multiply by three and get one five three and hence it's uh, required equation of a line l and the next and we can see that uh, point uh, this point is actually the same as point B so answer is 1 negative 2 0 plus T 1 5 3 and the next question find distance between L and plane 3 distance it's uh, perpendicular distance shortest possible distance and uh, how to find it uh, the first uh, way is or actually let's try to do that if uh, we can see the line which is parallel to normal uh, of uh, plane 3 it means it uh, will be perpendicular to plane 3 and hence plane 2 is, is parallel to plane 3 this line will be perpendicular to plane 2 and uh, since the line belongs to uh, plane 2 and if uh, a line is perpendicular to the plane it will be perpendicular to any line in that plane hence line this line L2 will be perpendicular to both plane 3 and line L. And uh, we can see the line 2, which is perpendicular to plane 3, and passing through any point uh, uh, on L. And as a point, we can take uh, this point P or this, uh, they are equal, but in general, uh, uh, these points may be different so we can take either this or this it doesn't matter hence equation of line L2 is point 1 negative 2 0 plus parameter and direction vector direction vector is uh, parallel to normal of uh, plane 3 so and coefficients of uh, a normal are just these uh, coefficients in equation of a, pla a plane so a vector has the next coordinates negative 9 3 and negative 2 and then we need point M point uh, of intersection of uh, a line L2 and plane uh, 3y uh, because then the required distance can be found as distance between two points point P and point M uh, hence from this equation X is 1 minus 9 mu y is negative 2 plus 3 mu and y e, uh, z is just negative 2 mu and substitute into equation of a plane 3 to find point of intersection so it becomes negative 9 negative 9 1 minus 9 mu plus 3 negative 2 plus 3 mu uh, minus 2 times negative 2 mu is 32 it can be easily solved and 94 mu is 47 mu is a half then required coordinates of a point M are just substitute mu into these equations and m has 
coordinates negative 7 over 2 negative half and negative 1 and point P it's just 1 negative 2 0 and required distance its square root formula is given in the data booklet it's x2 minus x1 squared plus uh, y2 minus y1 squared plus z2 minus z1 squared so it is equal to negative 7 over 2 minus 1 squared plus um, negative a half plus 2 squared plus negative 1 minus 0 squared and it is equal to root 94 over 2 and its required distance and that's all for this question